Okay, so hello friends. Today we are going to discuss the foramen obstacle and structures passing through the foramens. So let's start. So here you can see a schematic diagram of the base of the skull. Now let's discuss the discuss all the parts of the foramen of skull. Then we will discuss every structure passing through these foramens. So this red part is called anterior cranial fossa. Okay, then this part, white part, is called middle cranial fossa. Okay, and this blue part is known as posterior cranial fossa. Now, here this part is known as superior orbital fissure okay and this part is known as petrous part of the temporal bone well bone now let's discuss every foramen so before this thing is this plate is called the Sorry, this thing is called cribri form plate. Okay. Now let's discuss every foramen. So this foramen is called the foramen of rotendrum. Okay. R O S. Remember R O S. Next, this foramen is oval, and this foramen is foramen of spinosum. Okay, R O S that is rotendrum, oval, and the spinosum. Next, this is called as foramen lacerum. Okay, this foramen is known as internal acoustic acoustic meters this is this foramen okay this foramen is called as jugular foramen okay jugular foramen this is a canal known as hypoglossal Canal. Okay, so we have done all the foramens. Now let's see the every structure passing through the foramens. So first we'll start with the cubriform plate. So here you can see this is the cubriform plate area. So from this the structure passing is olfactory because it's connected with the nose. So olfactory nerve will pass through cubriform plate next optic canal so optic canal the structure so here you can see sorry i have forget to mention optic canal so this there will be optic canal this two will be optic canal okay So this is known as optic canal. So from optic canal, the structure passing will be first optic nerve and second is ophthalmic artery. So optic canal is done. Next superior orbital fissure. So here you can see this is superior orbital fissure. So from this, the structure passing will be first the motor part of third, fourth, and sixth nerve. Okay, next sensory part of the fifth nerve that is the and the branches 
first branch right first branch of hip nerve that is ophthalmic okay next another thing we'll pass that is the superior and inferior ophthalmic vein okay so superior orbital fissure is done okay so now foramen of protein drum so first see the structure in the foramen sorry in the base of skull so here you can see foramen of protein drum now the structures so from foramen of protein drum the second branch of the trigeminal nerve that is the maxillary part okay maxillary branch will pass through the foramen of protein drum next foramen oval so foramen oval here you can see foramen oval below the foramen rotten drum so foramen oval the structure passing through foramen oval is first third branch of the trigeminal nerve that is the mandibular okay and another one is you have to remember a mnemonic it is male m for here you can see mandibular a for accessory meningeal artery okay l for lesser petrosal nerve e for emissary vein so you can remember through this mnemonic that is male so foramen oval is done next is foramen of spinosum so here below foramen oval here you can see foramen of spinosum so let's see the structures here you have to remember a mnemonic that is m e n men m for middle meningeal artery e for emissary vein in for nervous spinosum okay so, so remember this through a mnemonic en next is internal aquatic meatus okay so one minute so foramen of spinosum is done okay so next is the internal acoustic meatus so let's see the structure first so here it is it is present in the petrous part of the temporal bone the internal acoustic meatus so now let's see the structure passing through this so it is the seventh and eighth nerve and labyrinthine artery okay next is the jugular foramen so internal aquatic acoustic meters is done jugular foramen let's see the structure first so this is the jugular foramen so now let's see the structures so first from anterior side there will be inferior petrosal sinus next from middle portion 9 10th and 11th nerve nerve okay and from posterior portion it will be sigmoid sinus okay so now the hypoglossal canal so let's see the structure first so here you can see the hypoglossal canal now the structure passing through this is the 12th nerve that is the 12th nerve that is hypoglossal nerve glossal nerve so hypoglossal canal is done now foramen of lacerum so here it is the foramen of lacerum foramen of lacerum the structure passing through this first we will see the upper part from upper part of the canal this is not through the canal okay suppose uh, this is the canal so the structure will pass from the upper side this is getal petrosal nerve so the structure will be internal 
carotid artery and greater petrosal nerve okay and through the foramen the structure will be emissary vein vein and the middle branch of ascending pharyngeal artery okay so foramen of lacerum is done now only one structure that is the foramen of magnum the biggest foramen so here it is the foramen of magnum it contains the structure number one lower end of the medulla oblongata next the two hypoglossal nerves hypoglossal nerves next two vertebral arteries arteries and veins okay next anterior spinal artery and two posterior spinal arteries and another last one is the spinal vein Okay, so that's it the structure of the foramen of skull. So guys if you like this video then please do not forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe my channel. Thank you.